Order your e-copy of Yogi and Your Get Learn the Asana Alphabet in the Rock Boutique and enjoy some kids yoga with Asana Alphabet now. And bring your hands and rub them way up high, rub them way down low. Rub them to the side, rub them to the side, rub them behind your back. And can you rub them under one leg? Yeah, rub them under the other leg. Maybe rub them under both legs. And let's sing Om Shanti 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 together. I'll do the first one and then you join in. Ready? Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Can you do it with me? Om. Salutations, ready? So you're gonna get on your lily pad like a frog. Bounce, 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 bounce. Stretch your hips up on your lily pad. Good. And bounce, 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 bounce. On the count of three, you're gonna pop up and be as strong as a mountain. One, two, three. Full face forward. Ready? Which way up side? Say hello, sun. Hello, sun. Hello, earth. Hello, earth. Walk your feet back. Walk your feet back. Hello, plank. Hello, grass. Hello, grass. Hello, oh, get back on your belly. Hello, cobra. Hello, dog. Hello, dog. Now jump your feet to your hands. Faster now, follow along. Time to do some yoga now, along with some yoga history in this amazing story time yoga series. Today we are reading this beautiful book called Yoga Storytime by Miriam Raventos, illustrations by Maria Giron. Can you do many things at once? For example, can you play with a toy truck on the table while having breakfast? Can you walk and talk? while kicking a ball at the same time? Can you sing while playing with soap bubbles in the bathtub? Sure, it's not that hard, is it? Well, many, many years ago in India, some men realized that doing many things at one time was fairly easy and that they could do more every day. But they wondered what would happen if they only did one thing, the simplest, the most natural one, one thing only, and nothing more. Do you have any idea what this thing was? They decided that the simplest thing they could do was breathe. You're right. Breathing and walking is easy. Breathing and playing even more so. And breathing and sleeping is a snap. The difficult thing was just breathing and being aware of just that and not getting distracted. Try it yourself. You breathe, don't you? The men sat on the floor, closed their eyes so they couldn't see anything, and tried to just breathe while thinking about their breathing. It made them feel good. You are one person. If you're with a friend, you're two people. With dad, mom, and your friend, that makes four people. But if the four of you sit really still, breathe quietly and think about your breathing, you will feel like the four of you are a single person sharing only one breath. For the men I mentioned, this discovery was very interesting. They sat and breathed and they felt as one together 
and one with everything. These men definitely agree that one was a good number, but also that doing only one thing is much more difficult than doing many things at once. Sit down on the floor for a little while, like they did. Close your eyes. Are you thinking about your breathing? Count your breaths. One, two, three, four, count at least to 10. And then start over again, 10 more. The men from India came to realize, as you may also realize, that doing nothing other than breathing is not easy. Do you wanna move your feet? Does your nose itch? Is your back stiff? Are, your no are noises bothering you? Do you wanna eat something? Do you feel like talking or screaming? Do you wanna play or run? They realized that in order to do something like this, they needed to train. What did they need to train? They needed to train their bodies so they could stand still without complaining. And they needed to train their thoughts since those are even busier than their bodies. They realized that thoughts move faster than a monkey bitten by a scorpion. These men loved the world around them. There were many things to learn. They observed the trees, still and tireless, and they imitated them by doing the tree pose. Lift one foot up and try to balance as strong as a tree. They observed the moon, sometimes growing and other times getting small, and copied it by doing the half moon pose. Stay steady on one leg and try to tip sideways without falling over. That's half moon pose. And be sure to try the other side. They observe cats who are so agile and imitate them by doing the cat pose and stretching like they do. They observed lions, so brave, strong, and confident, and they imitated them by doing the lion pose. They observed snakes, stealthy and alert, and they imitated them by doing the cobra pose. They observed tortoises in their shells, and saw that inside they do not feel the cold or heat, and they imitated them by doing the tortoise pose. They wanted to see the world upside down. They created many more poses and their backs became stronger and more flexible. This way they could stay sitting and breathing for hours and hours, and they felt more and more at ease with the world and with themselves. In addition to training the outside of their bodies, they also took care of the inside of their bodies. Have you ever had a stuffy nose? <sighs> Whew, how difficult it is to breathe. Then they learned how to unstuff it with salt water. They also cleaned their intestines, their eyes, and their stomach. They also discovered things to empty their mind of thoughts. They breathed fast and noisily when exhaling. <sighs> or very slowly, first one nostril and then the other and they held their breath longer than deep sea divers. <sighs> Sit on the floor and try to empty your mind of thoughts. Hold your left nostril closed and breathe slowly through your right nostril. Out, then in. Now hold your right nostril closed and breathe slowly through the left one. Out, and in. Right out, in, left out. In. Now, how long can you hold your breath? The men from India were grateful for this knowledge because it made them feel better. And they sang songs of thanksgiving to the stars, the wise men, and to the gods. The men from India knew that these discoveries were very valuable and they didn't want them to be lost. So they taught them to their children who taught them to their children and they continue to be passed down to each new generation. This is yoga. So many things can be learned from being able to do just one thing. 
nothing more than breathing. The